Dear student, this video is for class 7 mathematics and the purpose of the video is to remember or to rewind what you studied in previous class in relation to geometrical construction. In geometrical construction, till date you have studied about what is in by a line, line segment, angle, angle bisector and perpendicular bisector. We will be simply revising it. First thing you studied is about a point. A point is nothing but simply speaking a dot. Otherwise, by definition, a point is a location. Point is a location. It can be on the screen just like this is a point or it can be a point in the middle of your classroom or in the space or in the air or anywhere. Wherever it may be, a point is denoting a location. The smaller the point, more accurate the point is. Okay. After point, you studied about line. What is a line? Line is made up of a set of points. How will we draw a line? In order to draw a line, we draw a line like this. This is a line. A line is having certain peculiarities that a line will be having arrows at both ends. That shows it is infinite and a line is made up of set of points. This is what you have studied previous year. The line segment. Line segment, what is a line segment? Line segment must be a piece of line, a part of line. Line segment is drawn like this. It can be big like this. In all these cases, certain things are very important. The important thing is that we need to denote this line, line segment using English alphabet. For example, if you mark two points over here and we can name this line as line AB or simply by a single letter line L. But for line segment, we need two letters in such a way that line segment CF or line segment PQ. In this way, we denote a line segment. Understood. Then you studied about arrow and ankle. What is an arrow? I will simply straight away draw an arrow. This is an arrow. This is another arrow. Arrow is having a definite start point and an infinite at the other end. Then what is an angle? An angle is formed when two arrows originate from a single point. This is an angle. You also studied about right angle where the angle is equal to 90 degree. 90 degree angle. The angle is measured by the span of the arms of the angle. These are the arms of the angle. This is the span which we measure and write the degree over there. This is 90 degree. An angle is denoted by three letters A, B, C where the angle B is 90 degree. This is having a fixed point over here and this is infinite. Again it can be named as angle uh, arrow A, B. Here it is angle E, F, G. Next thing you studied was about angle bisector, which is very much used in this chapter of geometrical construction. Please take care of this. Angle bisector. Angle you know very clearly now. This is an angle. This is an angle. This is a right angle. What is, then what is an angle bisector? An angle bisector is a an arrow drawn from the vertex again, so that the angle is divided equally by that. If this is total is 90 degree, the angle by sector will divide into 45 degree and 45 degree. If the angle is like this, okay. This angle also can have a bisector. The bisector will divide that angle into two equal angles. Like this. Bisect. Bi means two. Sect means divide. So it will divide the angle. Bisector will divide the angle. Bi means Two. Sect means divide. This year studied how to bisect an angle. I'll show you. Let me take the geometry box quickly. And I need compass as well as ruler from that. I'm closing the geometry box. And I need an angle now to bisect. I'm drawing an angle. Let this angle to be bisected by me. Okay, I need a compass. I think by doing it, you will remember it. If I do it, you will remember it. I'm having more than one compass, not a problem. I will delete this compass. 
okay let the color of the pen be yellow something so that you can see it clearly here it is draw an arc here and take the compass to the other arm of the angle draw an arc here then take the compass keep the compass here at the inter intersection increase make it big okay take the compass to the other other intersection turn it draw it you got a point of intersection you need to have this here I did not know this here, it should be continuous here, okay, it will be like this, it's not a big problem, because I was explaining to you, and you have already done in the last year, now bring the scale over here, I mean the ruler, keep it here in such a way that it goes through the intersection, and I always have told that digital scale is having its own limitations, so please bear with me, adjustment is a Okay, and draw the line, or draw the line of intersection, I would say. Now we have bisected the angle. We have done the bisection of the angle. Bisection is done. Here is an angle, here is an angle, and those will be equal. This is what is the construction of angle bisector. Understood? Now, this is one thing you need in this chapter. Perpendicular bisector, another topic you studied. Perpendicular bisector is drawn against a line or line segment. Suppose there is a line segment. Sorry, this is not line segment. This is a line segment. Okay. This is a line segment. I name the line segment as AB. I want a bisector for this. I mean, we have to divide the line segment equal two equal halves. For that, again, you need the geometry box. Go to the compass. Take out the compass. Bring it to the, and uh, you need ruler also. That also I'm taking it out because again and again I don't have to open that. Bring the compass here at one end of your line segment. Let this be more than half. And uh, you have need to draw an arc here. Same way, draw an arc here. Take the compass to the other side, end of the segment. Bring it here. Draw an arc here. Take the other side. Draw an arc there. You got two intersections, and on the either side of your given line segment. Bring the scale draw the line through these two intersections. This two line, this line will be dividing the line segment here where it is intersecting it will be the point of intersection will be the bis it will be bisecting the line will be dividing the line into two equal parts. That means if this is AB is equal to if AB line segment AB is equal to 10 centimeter, I will say that if I mark here C, AC will be equal to 5 centimeter and CB also will be equal to 5 centimeter. Okay, my dear student, this is what you studied in the previous year and which is very essential for understanding what is there in the first chapter of your mathematics textbook related to geometrical construction.